In the universe, there are many units used for measurement. For example, we use seconds as a unit of time. The unit of time itself is not only seconds. One unit of time that has a large value is the year. Time itself has the smallest unit, known as Planck time. The Planck time is a unit of time in quantum physics. This is the time it takes light to travel in a vacuum, a distance of one Planck length. The Planck length itself is on the order of 10 to the power of minus 44 meters. Planck time is a very small amount of time, even compared to the time it takes for an atom to move. For example, the time it takes for an electron to orbit an atomic nucleus is about 10 to the power of minus 16 seconds, which is still 10 to the power of 28 times longer than the Planck time in the universe, Planck time is the earliest period in the history of the universe, lasting from 0 to about 10 to the power of minus 43 seconds. Because the universe was still very small at that time, quantum gravitational effects dominated physical interactions. During this period, approximately 13.8 billion years ago, gravity is believed to be as strong as other fundamental forces, and all of these forces may still be unified. The state of the universe during the Planck era was very hot and dense, still unstable, and was evolving until the emergence of basic forces through a symmetry-breaking process. The Planck period itself is a very short period in the history of the formation of the universe. Even cosmic inflation, which some scientists believe occurred 10 to the power of minus 35 seconds after the Big Bang, is still 100 million times longer than the Planck period. The Planck period has important implications in quantum physics. The first is that the Planck time is the time limit in which quantum field theory can be applied. Quantum field theory is a theory that explains the behavior of subatomic particles. This theory is based on the principles of quantum mechanics, which states that energy and momentum can only have certain quantized values. In Planck time, the universe was very small and dense, so the effects of quantum gravity were very important. Quantum gravitational effects are the interaction between gravity and quantum mechanics. It is believed that at Planck time, gravity and quantum mechanics were still unified. Of course, because of the enormous gravitational force in a very small space, smaller than an atom. This effect has not yet been fully explained, but it is thought that it becomes important at very small scales, such as during Planck time. In Planck time, the universe was very small and dense, so the effects of quantum gravity were very important. This effect can lead to various phenomena that cannot be explained by classical gravitational theory, such as gravitational singularities. Secondly, if we were to fully understand Planck time, maybe we can unify gravity and quantum mechanics. Planck time is the point where the effects of quantum mechanics and gravity become equally significant. Understanding it could pave the way for a theory of quantum gravity a holy grail of physics that would unify these two seemingly incompatible theories. This would revolutionize our understanding of fundamental forces and how they interact at the smallest scales. And the third, we can exploring the origin of the universe. The universe began at the Planck era, a period shortly after the Big Bang, where the effects of gravity and quantum mechanics dominated. Understanding Planck time could provide crucial insights into this era, potentially uncovering secrets about the initial conditions and mechanisms that set the stage for the universe we know today. And further, we can unveiling new physics beyond the standard model. The standard model, our current framework for understanding fundamental particles and forces, might break down at Planck scales. Understanding Planck time could reveal new particles, forces, or dimensions beyond what we currently know, opening up entirely new avenues for exploration in physics.